the genius of insect flight. An explanation next on today's Creation Moments. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. Flying insects have been a huge mystery to scientists, especially those who believe in evolution. Wind tunnel tests on winged insects show that their wings produce anywhere from a third to half as much lift needed for flight, depending on the species. Yet, horseflies have been clocked flying at 90 miles an hour. Detailed research on the biomechanics of insect flight has now revealed how they manage to fly. Insect flight does not use quite the same principles as aeroplane flight. First, insect wings trace a figure eight during flight. Your average airliner's wings don't. If an airliner's wings attack the air at an angle of more than 18 degrees, the vortex that provides lift to the top of the wing pulls away from the wing and the result is a stall. Insect wings attack the air at a much steeper angle. Why doesn't the lifting vortex pull away from an insect's wings, leaving the insect in a stall? Well, researchers learned that because the insect's wing is moving faster at the tip, the lifting vortex does not pull away from the wing and, in fact, gives the insect a 70% increase in lift. Evolutionists depict today's flying insects as descendants of ancient insects that could only glide. Gradually, over supposed millions of years, they develop the wings and flight skills of modern insects. However, this recent research reveals that insect flight is no chance development. It is carefully designed by a creator who knew the principles of flight all along. To get a complete set of transcripts from Creation Moments programs, ask about the book Letting God Create Your Day when you visit us online at creationmoments.com or give us a call at 1-800-42-BIBLE. And join us again for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.